The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. For they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night, then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. Today is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. The Gospel of the Lord. On behalf of the parish staff, the priests who live and abide in our rectory here, actually serving a number of communities in this city, on behalf of Dr. Stephen, on behalf of our parish staff, and all those who work so hard day in and day out, week in and week out, to have things ready for us and to even leave evidence if we forget something or duplicate ourselves, at least at the four o'clock mass. On behalf of all of our musicians, all of us, I want to wish all of you a happy, and a holy and a safe Christmas. I know it's been a tough year for us all, but we hang in and we continue to do the best we can, and we continue to hope that next year will be even better. Merry Christmas to all of you.